Hello there viewers! Today we will be taking a close look at Atlona's Omega series of integration products for modern AV communications and collaboration. We are set to unbox, install, and demo these units for you, so hold on to your butts! <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to BZB TV and welcome to another episode of The Hive. Now, if it's your first time tuning in, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on original content in regards to Pro AV products, tech trends, and news that's swarming in our industry. Today we have a couple of great products from our partners at Atlona. So let's get started and open these units up. Check out the contents. Here we have two similar products that act as switchers, controllers, and extenders for fully automated AV systems. Here we have the OME ST31, a three input switcher, and we have the OME SW32, which is a three by two matrix switcher, both for HDMI and USB C applications. These are excellent for AV interfacing with newer Macs, Chromebooks, and Windows PCs along with smartphones and tablets. Both these units are ideal for collaboration spaces, training facilities, and education environments. Now today we will be installing the OME ST31 and demoing it for you guys. So hang tight, give us a moment while we get this bad boy up and running. Let's walk through our current setup. So we have the OME ST31 connected and powered on and all the inputs are being utilized. Starting with input number one, which is the USB-C port, we have our Samsung phone. Now any device, whether it be a tablet or smartphone that has a USB-C port can connect to this switcher. For input number two, we've got our PS4 Pro and input three, we have our Xbox One S connected. On the output of this unit, which is this cable, we are connected to our 4K display, which is showing currently our PS4 Pro. The output allows selectable 4K to 1080p downscaling, which is ideal for applications that are utilizing 1080p displays. Regarding audio, there is an input for analog to channel for HDMI or HD based T outputs or from audio from PCs. The unit also includes a mirrored HD based T output for long distance video transmission. Now for optimal performance, uh, Lona recommends that you use a CAT68 cable or above. Other ports include a LAN for at Lona's velocity or connecting to any third party control system via open API. Also, the same LAN port will allow you to access the OME ST31's web GUI for easy control. Looking at the front panel, we can tell there is a button for integrated display control. Right next to it is a button for switching our sources. Currently, we've got our PS4 Pro showing on our display. It's actually connected online. That's why you see our web page here, bzbexpress.com. And if we switch over to input number three, it will show our Xbox One S. Let's see it. And if I go over to input one, which is our USB-C, we should see the display from the Samsung. Additionally, there are LED lights to notify you that the unit is on. So obviously this is green for power, but the link light is not on because we are currently not using the HD base T link. The OME ST31 ensures auto switching operation for all sources, including DVRs, display port, or mini display port adapters. This is a complete system integration solution for meeting environments, lecture halls, collaboration spaces, which makes it simple to bring your own device and connect. This unit is compatible with Atlona's HD base T receivers for 4K UHD extension. We'll also include the product links for those receivers if you're interested in taking a look at those specs. Part of the Omega series of integration products also includes the OME SW32. Now this unit supports 4K HDR, 4K60444 at 18 Gbps. Similar to the OME ST31's inputs, 
This unit also has a USB-C as well as two HDMI inputs, the difference being in the outputs. This unit has two local HDMI ports, allowing us to use it as a matrix switcher. What this means is that we can switch any of the inputs to any of the two outputs in any combination. Another differentiator is audio D embedding for two-channel PCM audio from the selected video source on HDMI output 1 to a balanced analog audio output. Independent mute control is available for both embedded two-channel PCM audio for both HDMI outputs. The unit is also multi-channel audio compliant for both USB-C and HDMI inputs. This unit also has a landline for accessing this unit's online web GUI or integrating with third-party control systems. Lastly, the front panel shows three switching slash matrix switching modes via LEDs. The OME SW32 is compact and can easily be mounted under conference tables, making it an excellent solution for rooms with dual displays. Similar to the OME ST31, this device is fantastic for bring your own device connectivity, simplifying collaboration in classrooms, huddle spaces, and environments with video conferencing codecs with 1080p displays. Well, that's it for today's episode, guys. We had two amazing connectivity solutions from Atlona, the OME ST31 and the OME SW32, both a part of Atlona's Omega series of integration products for modern AV communication and collaboration. Now, if you're looking for more information on these guys, look no further than down below in the descriptions. We've included the product links to our site, bzbexpress.com. Much thanks to our partners at Lona. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Uh, show your support. Give us a big thumbs up, like this video. Uh, if you know anyone who would find this video useful, a friend, colleague, please share it with them. Lastly, do not forget to subscribe to our channel, BZB TV. We will have a lot of great AV content coming to you guys in the near future. Hope to catch you guys on the next one.